And welcome back, this is Baller Scooper with another episode of Let's Play Xenogears. I need to pick my party. I'm pretty much going to keep it the same, except Ricardo Banderas will come along for the ride. And... Okay, there we go. Thought, thought it was a black screen of death for, for a second there. I need to double check that everybody's equipped properly. And I need to heal up, I believe, and I'll be right back. For those of you paying extra special attention, you'll notice that I am a little bit higher level this time. That is not because I went level grinding. It is because I lost some footage and had to go replay about an hour's worth of the game. And I got more battles that time, what do you want me to say? So we're still... Damn, pressed the wrong button. We're still... At the Ethos headquarters, we need to head to the Thames, which is pretty much a straight south. south. You might be asking, why did I bring Rico along for the ride today? It is because we have not seen his death blows. Really, that, that's pretty much it. Plus, he does give a little bit of dialogue in the next scene that I do like. So, we need to head straight south for the Thames. Hopefully, we can help them out with their problems with the giant uvula. I believe they call it the fishbowl. There's the Thames, you can kind of see it in the distance there. Let's head straight for it. Hopefully the captain will do his little spinny camera trick. Hopefully we can make it there no problem this time. There we go, on board the Thames. How are you guys doing? Has the whole place been destroyed? I take it no, because everything looks the same. So... So I take it we were overreacting a bit. Uh, we should probably head to the bridge, talk to the captain, see what's going on. Give me a damage report, captain! Come on. There we go. What's up? Oh, Satan, you came because you were worried? Yes, yes we did. You could say that, but you seem to be better off than I expected. Me too. Better than I expected too, of course. We are men of the sea, is what I'd like to say. But the truth is, the situation's been pretty bad. We've got some that are injured badly and some that are dead. I don't care what that says. But considering what happened to the other ships, we're in no position to complain. And by the way, Satan, what the hell's up with that uvula thing? Came out of nowhere and kicked our butts and left behind wells, and then I headed for some obscure excavation site where there's supposed to be nothing. Ah, oh, since we were sent to go to a more deeper and bigger excavation site, just as I thought. Satan already knows what's going on here, apparently. Some say they saw a huge gear like monster. It seemed like it was guiding that uvula thing to the excavation site, or so I'm told. Stone. It appears there is something there for sure. Called Salvager's Intuition, but I don't want to get any closer. It's a tan. Is that uvula, an enemy of yours? You could say that. Well, I won't ask for revenge, but I can't just sit back and do nothing if you're against it. We'll help any way we can. You can ask Hans anything about the site. So, Hans, what do you know? It was headed due north, the north edge of that island, but why? There's nothing there but a small mine. We passed her on the way, I don't know if you guys, you guys saw it. We'll help however we can. Oh, uh, so. Yes, you just repeat yourself. So, that's it for the towns. No, seriously, that's it for the towns. So, we need to head back down to the dock. And go to a small little mine that we've passed by probably a few times, but now there will be a dot on it on our world map. Very, very rickety bridge. Just, let's just double check. No, no big Joes up here. Uh, uh, okay, good. I, if they were here, I might have to kick their ass. Freaking save Big Joe. I can't believe I saved Big Joe. Why? Why did I ever do that? Let's head to the excavation site. We're currently anchored at the Thames. Leave. Now, before we go down there, you might expect that there's going to be some tough enemies in there. And there are, so I would suggest doing a little bit of level grinding if you're not up 
to where I am right now, or at least thereabouts. You don't have to be the same level. But the death blows are kind of important, so you might want to at least get five or six, f at least for the party that you're bringing along into the mine. Because this place does have a level check, is what they're typically called. It's pretty much a battle, which, if you're at the right level, is pretty easy, but if you're too low of a level, will be absolutely ridiculously hard for you. Satan, what is Solaris trying to do? The main Solaris army, why all this? Let's get down. Get down, boogie! On down the elevator once Rico glitches. There we go. Now this place is a long, long, long place. I know, because I just did it. What we need to do is fight off all these guys. And there will be a ton of them. I won't show all of them, but I will show enough until uh, we finally get all of Rico's death blows shown off. Yeah, we've seen all yours. Yeah, they, they pr these Gubbler Guards pretty much have two attacks. That will do a lot to Rico. Yeah, 50 damage to Rico. He is weak to ether attacks. But if they did the regular cannons attack, or the regular lasers, it does like crap. Let's look at Banfro. Nice. <laughs> Kicked him up in the air and shot him in the face. Come on, Rico, get a turn! Hey, you, you, you keep doing that to Billy. You'll just find out how well it turns out for you in the end. Alright, let's see. We have not seen... Let's see, we saw Death Drive. We have not seen Dragon Fist as far as I remember. And Uppercut for the win! Yeah, these guys start to wear on you, but they're not tough by themselves. Yeah, look at that. One damage. Really showing off the difference in characters in this fight. Because, yeah, that did great to Rico, but not to Billy. Billy's got the high ether defense, while Rico's got the strong physical defense. Come on, Rico, get your next turn. There we go. Have we seen... Bandettas. It's a Hurricane Rana to death. I recognize a lot of Rico's death blows as wrestling moves. I don't know about you guys, but I definitely can see the similarities. Damn it, really? Satan gets another turn again? My right, last one. What are we going to show off this time? It's going to be... Firebomb. Oh, Pile... No, not Pile Driver. That's a Power Bomb! Except he kind of leaned forward. Isn't there a guy that... Like, jump forward? It's like halfway between a Power Bomb and a Razor's Edge. Let's continue on. What's through this side? Oh, a cutscene's through that door. Sweet! Oh, that's Groff's gear. How you doing, Groff? Just, just hang out by yourself. Oh no, Miang showed up. Did you notice? His gear is reawakening. Soon, he himself will awaken also. I wonder who they're talking about. His friends are heading for Zevoim. It's been sealed up for four thousand years. You know what's there better than I do. He probably won't give anyone anything, but it's something we both need. You know what I mean? So, please. Oh, come on, Groff. How can you turn out eyes like that? It looks like he can't say no to those eyes, so he is on his way. I don't know who they're talking about. Who needs to, who needs to wake up? So, yes, we're on an elevator. We will just keep going further and further down into this place. 
Holy crap! What the hell is that in the background? What the hell? We're supposed to be underground! How do we end up in the air? This reminds me of a scene from Chrono Cross. Actually. Forgot the name of that city. Oh, we have to go up a little bit. That's fine. We will head back down shortly. There are random battles here. Yes, yes there are. We have two kinds of enemies here. Over here we have hammerheads. Uh, no. Attack. Yeah, attack this. This is the shell bell. I don't know if we've seen these before. But, they're, yeah, they're, they're kind of like Medusa heads, but cuttlefish at the bottom. One oogie is not enough to kill them, and the hammerheads freaking steal EP. If they steal it from Rico, I'm not too concerned about it. Really, the one that I'm worried about is them stealing from Satan. And this is why I went for the shell bell first. Unfortunately, I was not able to kill it. It puts everybody to sleep. And then, luckily the hammerheads will... No! Really? So, EP damage is not enough to wake you up. But a wake-up kiss is enough? How it can kiss is beyond me. It's got like two sets of eyes. I don't even want to know how many mouths. You might as well keep showing off Banfro. I don't know where that gun goes. I don't think he ever catches it. He pulls a new one out. He, every time I do Banfro, he throws his gun away. Really, dude? Okay, let's finish off the shell bell. Yeah, see, look, you can see the eye at the bottom on, like, the cuttlefish slash squid looking thing. It's more of a cuttlefish. Alright, yeah, unfortunately, we can't show off Rico's death blows because he's asleep. And when people are asleep, they don't tend to like to fight, or at least be able to fight very well. Now you go ahead and attack Satan to your heart's delight. Uh, we should be able to knock him out. Really, ether damage heals him. Interesting. I did not know that, luckily. I was still able to finish it off. We get two eyeballs, which isn't even one per hammerhead that we fought. But that's fine. We do have a save point here. I will use it, actually. Okay. Let's continue on through the long, narrow hallway. Now you can always tell if you can go through these doors because there will be a little, in, you know, a little seam at the back. But it doesn't seem like there's any here. But there is another Gubbler Guard. There we go. This one at the end we can go through. Hopefully we can finish off showing off Ricardo Banderas' death blows. So I don't have to show these fights anymore because they get tedious very, very quickly. Well, I eventually have to heal Billy, it looks like. But first, we'll just defend. Once Billy gets his turn, actually, let's go ahead and speed up Rico. So he can be faster. Maybe up to Satan speed. Probably not, but, but close. Okay, what more do we need to show off? We need to show off Pile Crusher. Any guesses what wrestling move this is going to be? It's a pile driver from hell. We might as well kill one of these off since we've only got one more death blow to show for Rico. Yeah, these guys are not difficult. If you're struggling with them, like I said, you'll probably want to go out and do some level grinding. Because enemies that we'll see later on will be much, much tougher. See, he's still not as fast as Satan. Even hasted Rico is not as fast as Satan. That is how awesome Satan is. Okay, last one. Spin strike!